The next class we're going to talk about are the topoisomerase inhibitors. But before we can talk about the drugs, we need to understand how the topoisomerase enzyme works. And so that, we got to get creative. So when DNA is being replicated, so this is our DNA, and it's got its cross-linking. When it's being replicated, enzymes come and unwind the DNA. Then DNA polymerase comes along each side and starts replicating the strands of DNA. This section here is called the replication fork. And what happens when the DNA is unwound, the part that's still together experiences an increase in a twisting pressure or a torsional strain. To alleviate this pressure, the cell uses topoisomerase enzymes. There are two enzymes. There's topoisomerase 1 and topoisomerase 2. Topoisomerase 1 will cut one strand of DNA. And that allows the strand to unwind around the other strand. Topoisomerase 2 cuts both strands of DNA, allowing it to unwrap and relieve the pressure. And then it reattaches it. The topoisomerase 1 inhibitors are the TCAN drugs, topotecan and irinotecan. The original compound came from the camptothecin tree, but was too mitosuppressive, and so it wasn't used in humans. These drugs bind to topoisomerase 1 and prevent it from attaching to the DNA and relieving the torsional strain. So what happens is the pressure builds up and eventually causes DNA strand breaks as the pressure overcomes the bonding. Topotecan is a drug that's not used a whole lot. Uh, it's specifically indicated for ovarian cancer and small cell lung cancer. But unfortunately, it's very myelosuppressive and its red dosing regimen isn't very convenient, so it's not used a lot. Primarily given as an intravenous infusion, although an oral formulation has recently become available. The reason it's inconvenient is because it has to be administered daily for five days straight versus other chemotherapy, which is usually one dose every three weeks or so. Its dosamine toxicity is myelosuppression, and it's a really uh, strong myelosuppression, compared, especially compared to other drugs. That really has limited its use. The other side effects are the side effects that we see with a lot of our cell cycle specific chemotherapy, like mucositis and alopecia. Irinotecan is a drug that's quite a bit different than topotecan. It's primarily used in the treatment of colorectal cancer and pancreatic cancer, but it's sometimes used in small cell lung cancer as well. Irinotecan is actually a prodrug. It's metabolized to its active form, SN38. It's given as an intravenous infusion, but its dosalinic toxicity is actually diarrhea. Diarrhea can happen in two different forms with irinotecan. You can acute, patients can experience an acute diarrhea, which is cholinergically mediated, and is best managed with acetylcholine. But more commonly, what patients can experience is a chronic or late onset diarrhea. That diarrhea is thought to be mediated by the intestines pumping too much fluid into the stool. This is a potentially severe diarrhea that can be life-threatening. We use anti-motility agents initially, but in extreme cases, we have to use drugs such as octreotide, which can shut off those pumps uh, in the intestines. Irinotecan will also cause other side effects that are common to chemotherapy, including myelosuppression, but that diarrhea is the side effect that you need to most commit to memory.